Hey, what's up, YouTube land? It's your boy, Eddie Hill, the White Oak, Pennsylvanian toy collector, and it's time for another Eddie Hill review. It's review time. People. And today, we'll be reviewing a Wizarding World of Harry Potter minifigure playset. And yeah, I got this mainly because I love Harry Potter. Now, these are nice playsets, for sure. I don't have all the figures in this playset. But this is one I had to buy for the Wampin' Willow Tree. And Luna, Love Maker, came included. Nice. Of all the creatures, we got the invisible shadow creature, got the bucket, the fruit. And you can have the little creature flying around it. And a bunch of information on this box. A lot of it. Warning information. Hollowness information. But other than that, let's open up the box and show you what's inside the box. Because it, it does not transform, which is... One thing, it does not transform. Little apple in the bucket. Pull out the tree. Pull out the other apples. <laughs> and we don't need the instructions, so we're done with the box. Why not? Say why not. Here we got the uh, tree from Wizard and World of Harry Potter. Not bad looking. This piece will connect into Hogwarts Castle momentarily. But we're going to show off the shadow creature connected to the stand. If I can get it to connect. It's some weird name that's hard to pronounce. I will tell you that much. But it doesn't want to stay on the stand unless I get it to connect in there somehow. Come on. I'll have to do it off camera. But here it is. You have to go whooshing around the Wampin' Widow tree and be like, Wee, 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 and all that. It's a really well painted and sculpted little figure. Oh, it's so adorable and cute for a shadow creature. But yeah, this is a connection point connected to the Hogwarts castle like this. But then you're going to see this hollow bit, which I'm not a fan of. So we're going to connect it right there. And that'll look good, look better on the shelf. But now we're going to look at Luna Lovejoy herself. These Wizarding World of Harry Potter minifigures don't have much articulation. She can sit down, but it takes a little bit of loosening up to loosen that up. Arms can move, not very much. No elbows. Head is on a ball joint, but it's a really tight ball joint, but otherwise a good looking figure. And she looks pretty cute, if I do say so myself. There was a part where she was holding an apple, so can we do that? Yeah, she can hold the apple like she was in the box design. So she can be like, here little shadow creature, eat the apple. Yum, 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 yum. And now I just lost the littlest apple. Ah, pain when you lose that. This is a bushel load of apples. So we don't lose that. It goes back in the bucket. And where does the bucket go? If you're wondering where the bucket goes, you just hang it on here. And there you go. When we got one other figure, this is a little Funko Pop keychain thing. But I couldn't get the keychain thing to work. But it's 
one of the most iconic Harry Potter characters, it's Mad-Eyed Moody. Look at that, he looks pretty gruesome looking, huh? But now we're going to go get the Wizarding World of Hogwarts Castle. And show you what the playset looks like connected to the rest of the Hogwarts Castle. Ronald Weasley just fell down. <laughs> Poor Ronald Weasley. Uh, okay. Okay, and there's part of it connected. Here we have the entire Wizard World of Hogwarts Castle connected and ready to go. And this is probably my favorite Harry Potter set as of this year. I love this set. I love these figures I've collected and it's an awesome set to collect. But now we're going to do some comparisons with the other figures, which means closing in for a close-up. Oh, fussy tripod. Decided it was going to come loose in places. Here is the Wizarding World Luna Love Maker next to a figure that reminds me of Harry in his standardized clothes. Here is... Hermione Granger. Here is Albus Dumbledore. Some Lego minifigures I got in this playset as well. Here we got a vintage Lego Ronald Weasley. Oh, come on. Sorry about that, people. This thing is not wanting to work properly. Now I gotta tighten it up. Pain in my neck piece of tech. <laughs> Whew, so close to getting it to work and it's deciding to fall over. Sorry about that, my fans, and pardon that. Here we got Professor Snape. This is the vintage Lego minifigure. I don't have a figure of the Wizard World figure of them yet. Of course, the troll. Troll in the dungeon. And why not Mad-Eyed Moody? And we do got some other Harry Potter figures to show off. Because <laughs> you know me, I love Harry Potter. It was one of my favorite movie lines when I was a kid in the mid-2000s. Here we got Luna Lovemaker next to a Funko Pop Quidditch player. Looking pretty good. Deathly Hollows, Harry Potter. Why not? And of course, Hegwit. And finally, here's Hegwit next to the uh, little shadow creature, which I have hard trouble pronouncing the name. So, sorry about that in general. Sorry about that alarm. I'll turn it off. Off, because that really bugs me while I'm reviewing. And is this Wizarding World of Harry Potter stuff worth collecting? I think so. If you grew up with the Harry Potter movies as much as I do, it's one of my favorite childhood movies. Because they're wizards, they can use magic, and it's fun line to collect. But now we're going to put all the figures in the castle and show off this playset with an entire line of figures. And that's how my shelf is going to be. 
You put Luna Lovemaker in the castle, sitting at the Great Hall table with good old Hermione, if I can loosen her up a little bit. She's a little bit tight, and I'm afraid to break her. But here we got Hermione Granger. Got a, another girl character. Put them all in that scene, we'll see. Professor Snape, we'll put him back on this brick because this raises him enough so he could stand at the Great Hall table in the chair. Why not? And we can mix in all our figures. And make this playset soar. But yeah, I love this. Wizarding World of Harry Potter toy line. It's probably my favorite toy line to start collecting figures for Harry Potter from. Nice looking playset and so much fun. I am definitely glad to own these in my collection. But this will be part of my Harry Potter collection from my favorite movie from the 2000s. And this is Eddie Hill. Moving on. And rock on and rock out YouTube land.